JSA Radio, the voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm Jamie Scott Akataya, here on the floor of Tex LA, Telecom Exchange's first show in Los Angeles, right in the Montage Beverly Hills Hotel. Joining me here today is my friend, Dan Meltzer. He is the Vice President of Sales and Leasing in New York for Savvy Data Centers. Dan, welcome to Tex LA. Good morning, Jamie. Good, good to be here. We're finally in LA at the same time. I know, I know. We keep missing each other here in LA. Um, so for our viewers who may not already know, can you tell us a little bit about the Savvy Data Centers portfolio? Sure. So we're, we're very much a East Coast, West Coast company, and I'll start on the West Coast since we're here. So um, Seattle is the largest um, data center campus on the West Coast of the United States. It's 1.4 million square feet. Um, and then we have two major campuses in Eastern Washington, Quincy, Washington, and Wenatchee, Washington. Each of those are 500,000 square feet. And then we move east. We have New York, my home, and a mixed-use 1.1 million square foot building. And then Ashburn, Virginia, um, the most connected site on the planet. Um, we're building a 900,000 square foot facility. The first building is done, and our first tenant moves in December 1st. Oh, congratulations. That's very exciting. Thank you. Very exciting. And for your carriers, uh, what are the opportunities in terms of uh, carrier density and cloud access? So um, we made a, a big shift um, at the beginning of this year, which is we started to um, kind of reduce the focus on our own network business, say the IGX networks, and we wanted to push more to our carrier partners. And that meant attracting more carriers to each of our sites. So, you know, there's a, a benchmark of at least having 10 carriers in all of, our, all, all of your sites, and we're trying to do that, and we're really shooting for 20, 30, 40 carriers in each site. So I've been meeting with um, with a lot of the carriers aggressively. Hope to meet some today uh, at Tex LA, and we're pushing more business to the carriers um, for you know our tenants' business. And also now that cloud access is so important, we're also going to push that to our carrier partners. Let them provide the access to Azure, AWS, and software and Google. Yep, very very important uh, sign of the times for sure in that marketplace. All the choices of carrier uh, services, great for your other tenants as well. So, uh, talking internet peering, another big uh, hot topic on the floor of telecom exchange. Uh, I hear that Savi is working with Six and DKX. Is that accurate? Yes. So, it, in, in my mind, it's it's great to have the internet exchange on your campus. It just shows that you're you're more connected. You're also going to attract not only the carriers and ISPs, but you're going to attract the content. So. The Six has established an edge um, in our Seattle campus, and we're just really starting to work with them in, uh, in terms of joint marketing. Whereas with DKIX, we were one of the early sites for their New York network, which has been super successful, and we do a lot of joint marketing with them, um, emails, events, and um, here's a little um, hot news uh, just for JSA. JSA exclusive. Is, you know, we've started to bundle um, the DKIT support um, in New York so that a customer coming in, they get, you know, rack power space from, from Sabi and they already have a DKIT support. And eventually, we want that to even go to Germany, um, which is their most interconnected site. So um, now moving over to uh, next generation networks, how does Sabi uh, plan to support uh, folks like Console? Megaport and package fabric. So great question, and, and I'm I'm pretty excited about these these new players because it is um, an innovation. Yeah. Um, you know, software defined networks that are really being used. So we've been very aggressive in attracting really all three of them um, to our campuses. And so far, um, we we actually have a meeting later today with Megaport. So trying to get them to at least come into Seattle. Here at Texas, of course. <laughs> um, Console is interested in coming into New York and Seattle, you know, two of our more mature campuses. And Packet Fabric um, is actually going into all of our campuses. So they're 
um, coming into New York, Ashburn, Seattle, and, and then eventually Quincy. And the whole idea is to give our customers, our tenants, a choice and let them try this new technology and, you know, see where it goes. And I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I've been talking to those guys there, and, and their technology is absolutely one to watch. So, um, loving that. So, it's the end of 2016. We're about to uh, embark on 2017. Can you look into your crystal ball for us and give us a few predictions, maybe updates on what Safety Data Center is planning to do? Sure. So, it was um, it was a really good year. Um, we're actually going to meet or exceed our, our business plan for 16. Wonderful. Um, and that gives us a lot of options for 17. So the first thing we're going to do is um, expand what we call Same Store, which is our existing campuses. So you'll see new capacity in Seattle, um, new capacity in Quincy, home of the lowest cost power in the developed world, two and a, two and a half cents a kilowatt hour. It is. And then also um, expand in Ashford. And then what I'm really excited about is we have decided that we will open two new sites in the next two years. So I'm hoping that 17 we open one, 18 we open another, and Sabi's goal is to provide our tenants, our customers, with the lowest TCO in the industry, following um, and, and really using renewable energy and low cost power. So you can almost look at a map and kind of figure out where we're going to go. And I'm very excited for the new year to see where we go, so I can fly in there, drop in, and, and make it happen. Uh, we're excited to see that for you as well. Um, again, Save Me Data Centers, a growth story, expansion plans, one to watch. Thank you, Dan, for joining us.